What? Are you kidding me? What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's day three here in Nebraska. I actually didn't believe um, I was going to be able to hunt today because this morning it was downpouring rain and wind spitting sideways, thundering, lightning, the whole nine yards. But it has slowed down. It's about 3.30 right now. And I just finished up editing yesterday's video, getting that uploaded right now. So, um, like I say, the rain has slowed up pretty significantly. As you saw, it's only just barely raining right now, kind of a steady drizzle, and I've killed big bucks in a steady drizzle. So, I am gonna get everything loaded up, uh, grab my rain gear, throw on my rain gear, and head out to a tree stand that I have in mind for the slight wind that we do have. Should be a good evening. Like I say, this morning's hunt was pretty much botched due to weather, but, Gonna get everything ready, get suited up, and head out. I can't decide how I'm gonna film this hunt, whether I'm just gonna do it um, with like my cell phone and GoPro, or if I'm gonna bring the big camera and just a ring cover for it. I might do that. So anyway, that's the plan. We will see you guys in the woods. All right guys, I'm headed out. Head to the tree stand right now. It's raining. Got the camera gear. Got it uh, covered up. Still gonna set up my tree arm and everything. Just keep this cover over it. If anything comes in, um, I'll just whip the cover off real quick and start recording. But man, I'm kind of excited about tonight. We had a, a big push of rain all last night, all through this morning, heavy rain. And here about an hour ago, it finally let up as I was uh, editing my video. So I made the decision to come out here and uh, hunt through this rain. It's just a, a steady drizzle now and the forecast calls for a steady drizzle all night tonight and into the early hours of tomorrow morning, like one, two o'clock in the morning. It's October 27th, and uh, these are the kind of days that we live for, right? Cold, dreary, raining, and uh, pre-rut time frame. So I'm headed to a tree stand that I've already got hung um, on this little piece of private ground. But uh, no hanging hunt today. Just looking forward to getting in the tree, setting up, and hopefully have a deer come in. A couple of bucks on this property that I would love to shoot. So um, who knows, maybe we get an opportunity tonight, but feels good to get out in the rain like this. I haven't had a good rainy bow hunt for, uh, it's been a while. October of last year, probably, so. Here we are again, making the most of a rainy situation. Hopefully 
used to air work in this ridge, either scent checking bedding areas or uh, just moving back and forth on this property. So, tripping over hedge apples. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. There's a buck right there. He's not too spooked, but he's on the ridge line. Exactly where I thought they might be moving. They've probably been moving all day since this rain let up a little bit. Just gonna skirt around this big brush pile, make my way into my stand. see a single deer. Didn't hear any deer. Nothing running, nothing chasing. <laughs> no deer. It's been a rough past couple days. It's not for a lack of trying. I've been, I've been hunting my butt off. This morning was supposed to be like the first real good cold morning of movement but midday is supposed to warm up into the 60s so um, not the best but this morning was like 30 degrees there's frost everywhere this morning uh, perfect wind for the stand perfect access just not happening not happening on the properties that I have access to or public 
the nice thing is um, this week we're supposed to have great weather you know November 1st through the 6th is supposed to be awesome weather but I'm not so sure like I'm probably not gonna be here I'm probably gonna be in Oklahoma luckily Oklahoma gets a lot of the same weather fronts but it's tough for me to want to stay around here and hunt waste valuable time during this time of year um, when these properties just flat aren't producing it just is what it is I don't I don't have access to premium properties the property that I'm sitting on right now um, I know I kid you not this is not a joke I know 11 other guys who bow hunt this property and it's no more than a couple hundred acres um, in fact there is a truck just on the other side when I came in this morning. All the public land that I hunt is obviously public land, so people are running it. And then uh, the other private land spots that I've got, there's several other bow hunters, and it gets hit, hit hard, hard during the, uh, during the gun season. So nothing I really have in Nebraska are like premium properties by any means. In fact, they're probably some of the lowest end on the totem pole. Somehow I'm able to kill bucks off of them, but it's just tough hunting. It's hard, hard hunting out here. Maybe one day I'll have a lease that's, you know, all of my own and maybe get a lease with a buddy or something and just try to build it out to be, you know, a really good hunting destination. But right now it's just not the case. It's not the scenario. So um, I might end up jumping states. I might go, to, might go to Oklahoma and try some public ground over there with my buddy Ryan. I know last year was awesome over there in Oklahoma. I'm sure he, I'm sure it's going to heat up here. It's just the weather and the deer movement has been down so dang low. Um, I'm going to pull a trail camera that I've got set up back here. I haven't checked it for a couple weeks. So I'm going to pull that trail camera, see what's on it. Um, and if there's no daylight movement of mature animals, I'll have checked like over the last five days, I'll have checked like 10 cameras. And only one of them had... Uh, mature buck movement during the daylight and that was four days ago um, and he hasn't shown up shown up since I checked that camera again when I hunted in there but so anyway we'll see what this camera's got and uh, if it's not telling me very much I've got some decisions to make um, it's just what you got to do I mean when hunting is slow like this and I'm asking my buddies you know who's hunting other properties I'm like hey what's you know what's the deer activity, what's the movement looking like in your your area, and their areas are, you know, between a lot of my hunting properties, so like very relative deer movement, and they're seeing chasing <laughs> in the last five days. I mean, you guys have seen what I've seen for deer movement. A couple of four corn yearlings and a doe. I mean, three deer in the last five and a half, six days of hard, hard hunting. Um, <clears throat> It's not much to want to stick around for. I might go to Missouri tonight just to get myself in position for like a morning hunt. They're supposed to have some pretty good weather come in. It's only like two and a half hours away from where I'm at. Um, otherwise, I'm really, really thinking about packing up and heading to Oklahoma and uh, trying my luck there. But anyway, let's get down, check this trail camera, head back to the bike, get back to the truck, and uh, piece this footage together for you guys and make some make some decisions on what I'm doing here so anyway appreciate y'all watching I know it hasn't been action-packed but we'll get there we've got sweet November right around the corner it's October 30th today and y'all know what happens in sweet November there's there's gonna be movement it's just not happening here and it's just not happening now so um, anyway let's get packed up all right guys I think I've got everything um, Here's the plan. Here's what we're doing. Got everything loaded up in the truck. Uh, got a couple tree stands, sticks, um, target. Got my e-bike, my Baku e-bike. Cooler, canvas cutter, all the goods. Got some dirt on the lens. Don't do that to your lenses. Good way to scratch them. Got a filter on it, but um, then on the inside, Got my bow, laptop, backpack, hunting clothes. Got everything on there. Um, here's my plan. 
I'm kind of chasing the weather down to Oklahoma. I'm not dealing with very good deer movement here in Nebraska, but Missouri is about to have the front hit them tonight. So I should be pushing pretty good weather um, tomorrow and the next day. So the plan is to hunt two days in Missouri on my loop down to Oklahoma, hunt like four or five days in Oklahoma and then come back to Missouri um, and meet up with my buddy Dylan Marlowe, picking him up from the airport. We're gonna hunt Missouri together. So um, that's the plan, making like a little circle loop and then eventually like November 13th, I'll be back in Nebraska and taking my buddy Nate out for his first ever rifle deer hunt, which will be awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm just, Nebraska is kicking my trash and I wanna go somewhere that there might be a little bit better chance of deer movement here in Nebraska. It just is not happening for me. So um, that's the plan. So I'm loaded up, about to start my road trip. Luckily the Missouri, uh, Missouri properties that I hunt it's only about two and a half hours away, so I should get there um, pretty good time tonight. So go hang out with some buddies and uh, hopefully we can get in some deer. So anyway, on the road, here we go. I will be the last to fall. I won't shed a tear for them to see. to fall.